In this video, we're going to create this small animation here so that we can get used to how we can add keyframe in Glex Animate. Let's get started. In Kaden Life, in the project bin, when we do a right click, we have the option of create animation. So we can launch Glex Animate from here, or you can go straight to where you unzip your folder of Glex Animate and simply click on the BB script here. Now that we're in Glex Animate, First, let's look at how we can add keyframes. There are two options, one is manually, another one is automatic. The automatic is when we click on this recording button here, and the manual is when we expand the transform here, and we are able to right click and add keyframes. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is simply selecting our shape. So we're going to draw a little ellipse here. Once you select the ellipse, come down to the tool option here, Click on it and make sure to see that this button, so the menu here, create menu, so row, save, group, layer, fill, and stroke. Now, if your check is both in stroke and fill, this is what you're going to have. You have the stroke, which is the outside lines, and you have the fill in. In order to avoid this, you can either uncheck the stroke or you can uncheck the fill. So if you uncheck the fill, now you have only the stroke. If you uncheck the stroke, now you have only the fill. So with that out of the way, let's see how we can do a little animation with this ellipse. Now that we have that, let's click and draw our shape right here. To change the fill or the color, go to the fill and then you can click this slider here to change to any. Make sure to select your shapes before you do that. Once you change the color, now enable the recording button here for the automatic keyframes. Move the playhead to any of the keyframe here and then simply drag your shape and move it into the canvas. Now under the ellipse here, when we expand this button here and going down, you can see this little ellipse circle here indicating by the shape here. And then when you expand that, you can see this is where the automatic keyframes are happening or being added. So here we have the first keyframe added. Let's move our playhead to somewhere around here and move our little shape right up there. And then bring it to another keyframe and bring the shape a little bit down here. And you can also resize or do whatever that you want to do. And then bring it to the next keyframe move your save and you can see the part in which the animation will be following bring the playhead here and drop it down here bring the playhead here somewhere there you can also expand this by click on that and then you can bring this one out like that so you can see the part of the animation from here, up here, and then coming back out again. Now one thing you can do is smoothing out this. By selecting each of this little rectangle here, do a right click, and you can see curves, smooth, and symmetrical, and the others here. So let's put this one as smooth. This one is select, make sure to select the rectangle. And that's it, so once we are done, we can stop the recording button. Once we stop the recording button, here is our little animation. Okay, so this is the first example. Now how do we get this back into Kaden Life? Either you create it inside Kaden Life or you create it outside of Kaden Life and you can still get it into Kaden Life. So in the file, click and make sure to save your work, export and you can export a JSON file. Make sure to click on all these options here and then click OK. Now let's go back again to Caden Life and here is our little animation. But then you can see that we have a problem. When we place this on the timeline, you can see that our animation is happening way out up there and nothing happened. So the easiest way to import this into Caden Life is simply export PNG file. So let's go back again to Glex Animate and go back again to File and then here you can see export as image sequence now make sure to know where your animation start and where your animation ends 
So for us, the animation ends around 94. So let's make it up to 100. And let's just click on the time here to 100. And then animation start with 0. So let's go to file and then export as image sequence and this little nice box appear here select the location that you want to save your image sequence and then click select folder and now you can see that the path is straight into that folder that you have created the file name if you want to name the file or if not no need to but make sure to check that it is in png file from frame, which is our frame, animation start at 0 and to frame, which our animation ends at 100 Now, let's click OK to export the PNG image sequence Now that we've finished exporting the image sequence, let's go back again to Kden Live. In Kden Live, you do a right click and you can see Add Image Sequence Click on this and you have this nice uh, window pop up here and the next thing is to go to the folder that we save our image sequence into so here you click on this uh, open the file dialog here to go into where you save your sequence then select your folder and then the important thing to note of is the frame duration now with 0.5 it's gonna give you about more than one minute animation which is not exactly one minute so let's change this 5 to 0 and then let's just change the first 0 there to 1 that's all we need to do and then click OK to import our sequence in so you can see when we do that you have only 4 seconds of the sequence so let's drag this down to the timeline and now you can see our little animation is there in the next video, let's follow along again to see how we can do that manually. Thank you for watching, see you back again in another video.